if you're buying any cards from TG Player, please use the link in the description to help support my content. This video is sponsored by Photon Store, TCG Player, Pokemon Card.io, and Card Market. Hello and welcome back to a brand new video here at Tailmon. Thanks so much for tuning in. So I'm getting a little tired of standard. Um, seems like what everyone is playing these days and um, the format's pretty figured out in the sense that Mew is dominant and everything else is just trying to play catch up. So I figured why not delve into Expand and I ran into a tweet by a Japanese store, um, Oceanic something, and they tweeted out uh, the combination of Standard plus Expanded. Um, I don't know if it was a tournament that was held with both formats, which actually sounds like a really fun idea, registering both um, both decks or something and alternating rounds. I don't know. Um, but it seemed pretty fun and they had um, their standard format follows Japan's, which uh, still includes tag teams and reset stamp and things like that. So I don't know. It, in general, the... I feel like rotation might have hurt us more than hurt us <laughs> in a way. Um, but anyways, that's besides the point. Um, today we're going to be playing with Vikaball, this deck that um, is also playable in the Japanese standard format and got quite a bit of attention a few months back when it was first revealed. We have the Vika Bolt with the Electro Blaster attack. You discard two Lightning Energy from this Pokemon and this attack does 200 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So very cool snipe. Um, four Energy is quite the heavy cost to pay. However, we have Charge Block with the ability Battery, where once you're in your turn before you attack, you may attach this card from your hand to one of your Vika Bolt as a special energy card, and this card provides two Lightning Energy. So you get to forget and skip anything related to... Um, to energy attachments, you just find two charger box, power up your vehicle, discard one of them, snipe for 200, and you're good to go. We have Echo and Corn to help with the damage for, um, for with the sniping for vehicle, which is pretty good. Um, you also probably want to be um, close mining up any bench protection that they might have with the Mew. And we have the Intellion lineup to help us with the consistency and maintain the single price um, situation for the deck. Um, there are other tech cards that you could play against um, things like uh, Serena, you could play a pseudo wood attack. You could also play a spirit tomb to counter um, those pesky um, mad party cards. But overall, I think this is a pretty pretty solid deck. And since you will be discarding a ton of charger box, we have four rescue carrier to get those back, along with the four rescue stretcher. So, I'm uh, sorry, one rescue stretcher to combine. Um, with the recovery, we have Scoop of Net to realize Drizzle and um, Shade Dealings in Tillian. We only have two VS Seekers and we have a wide array of supporters, which includes Colrus, Erika, Guzma, Marnie, and Ranger, Juniper, and teammates. And we have four Capture Energy just to add consistency to the deck, along with a four level ball to establish our early game setup. And then we have Instances to search for our evolutions, where Candy plus Speakable and whatnot. And yeah, hopefully it works out for us. And I'm able to snipe a bunch, a bunch of Pokemon. Let's jump into Expanded Ladder. It's been a while and see how we can do. Alrighty, so <laughs> what a starting hand. What a way to come back to expand it with a triple Intellion hand. Uh, my opponent chose to go first with a Shockle GX and a I have no clue what's going on here. My hand is dead, so... Um, I mean, Shuckle can't stonk me, I guess? Uh, huh? I have no clue what's going on. Um, I, I really have no clue. Um, so I'm gonna evolve, and that stops the knockout, right? But okay, I get to Marty, and hopefully get going. I did prize a V Gold and a Charger Bog. Did not prize any Intellions, <laughs> as we very well know. So let's see what the Marty does here for us. Can't play Scoobomnet, of course. And let's go ahead and Marty see where that gets us okay my capture energy is not terrible um hopefully my vehicle survives the turn right that's the dream so i'm gonna count on it surviving and i'm just gonna go ahead and oh i have free retreat actually 
So you know what? Yeah, let's be extra safe. <laughs> Um, actually, this was a mistake. I did not, I did honestly did not realize Big Old had free retreat. Um, if I had, I would have attached to the saw will search for a, um, charge a bog, not charge a bog, uh, grub in, and then just keep calling. So, no reason to do what I just did. And my opponent playing a Mew, Mewtwo, what's, what were these called? Uh, v Union, V Union, yeah. Um, okay, so don't expect to be needing the echoing horn, honestly. And I mean, sure, why not? Let's just save this owl for now. And let's bench you, and then let's go call rest for five, see what we get. Um, I can, I can and should attack this turn, I figure. So let's go evolve you and we'll get an incense, right? Double incense here for double charge a bug. And if I'm not mistaken, right, I can attach the charge a bug twice, right? It doesn't follow any of the any of the energy attachment rules. There we go. Yep. Battery. And then we get to Electro Blaster. Knock out the Shuffle as we do a four energy attached total. Then we just discard the charge about Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we get a candy. Not a bad price card when I have the other grubbing. We free up a charge about so that means we get to attack again. Uh, now I think about it, probably should have kept the echoing horn. <laughs> Um, it's fine if I can snipe one of these guys, should be fine. We get Marnie out of the area, guys, but now I'm feeling much better, right? Um, there's a chance my Beagle dies, for sure, but I have um, Stretcher and the Intillion and the Rare Candy, so things are actually looking good. All right. Okay, so... They decided to use Shadow Mist, but that shouldn't stop my charge block because I'm not attaching an energy. I'm not playing a special energy, I'm using an ability that means I look like a special energy, I think. I think that's how it would work. So let's go grab you. Right. Yep. Then, oh, I can't play a capture because of the attack. So I could just knock out this Shadow Rider. The energies will be transferred, so there's not that much of a point. Um, I should still draw cards, however. So I'm going to grab Erigas, and I'm going to grab the Incense. Now, with the Incense, I'll wait to, to see what I get. Okay, so I do have this other Intellion, so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and grab Quick Shooting, and I'll snipe. I mean, I can just snipe the active, right? I think that's fair to do. Maybe my opponent misclicks, I don't know. I eliminate the Wishful Button, at least. And then we'll Electro Blaster for 200 damage. There's a pretend uh, Bench Barrier Mr. Mime on the bench, I guess. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. We free up a Robin. But yeah, I mean, we're not playing a stay serious deck, but at least we got to play, right? We got to show off the strategy. Um, maybe it is a serious deck, like maybe this deck actually plays Adventures, Discovery, and Shockle. I don't think you would ever play Shockle though, but... Um, but yeah. Ooh, okay. Um, Gengar Q, we still haven't seen a single Shadow Rider from my opponent. That is the first supporter they're playing though. I'm not overly concerned. Now there's a Crobat right there. On the bench for me to snipe so that's all i need to do my hand is dead however wow they're playing articuno as well and memory capsule what the heck i'm just playing all the um all this psychic pokemon mechanics 
they did attach energy there instead of there, so they're not getting the free turn. Unfortunately for me, my hand is dead though. Oh, now they choose to Astral Barrage. And there we go. That's the game, right? I just grab you. I play the Charger Bug. And I snipe the Crobat for game. Easy peasy. Um, that's the strategy of the deck. Obviously, if my opponent had applied pressure, this would have been much more difficult. So we'll see what happens in this upcoming game. Alrighty, so we do win the coin flip, and because this is expanded and there's a big chance of getting dunked, I'm gonna choose to go second. There's a possibility that my opponent is playing the dunk deck, which um, would mean trouble for sure. But, I mean, it's a risk I'm willing to take, you know? They also bench two Pokemon, and seems like they're a Sation deck. So we already have a target right here, which is great. Um, Station is also a target after one quick shooting snipe, so that's also great. And okay, solid start for my opponent, that's for sure. Very sad start for me, however. Extremely sad start for me. But because I am a... Um, A single price deck, I'm actually not going to. I mean, if this were standard, the game would be over, basically, but it isn't. <laughs> so that's good. Oh, that escape rope really hurts. <laughs> that escape rope actually really hurts. And it really sucks having colors as my only supporter, though. But it is what it is. Might want to evolve into this charger box just to get closer to the gold. Probably not, though. But we'll see. No, probably not. Cynthia is a very interesting choice, though. But not one I fully agree. And it's strictly better most of the time. I don't know. I mean, here, obviously, it would have benefited me more than hurt me. But you never know. Okay, now there's two targets. So all of the targets are, I guess, available on the bench already for me. As long as I get a semi-decent setup. So what I need is... Um, to be able to start taking knockouts before my opponent is down to two prizes. So I can still lose two more prizes and be fine, right? I can still lose two prizes and be completely, completely fine. Okay. So there's my Grubbin, there's another Vigobolt. I mean, I think I just have to do this. I guess I could have evolved, um, but yeah, that's gonna be it. No setup for Pablo means that's gonna be GG. There's Bronzong. I mean, I guess I still haven't lost technically, but I've lost, yeah. A quick wall for another station, retreats, transfers the energy, and that is that. Unless my opponent somehow doesn't go. Wait, what? Why not just search? Like, you have the retreat on the Bronzong. You can just knock me out with Bronzong. I'm just gonna concede because my opponent's probably just being annoying. Um, on to the next match. Alrighty. Once again, expanded. You wanna go second? You definitely wanna go second. And once again, the Colress. So I'm starting to really dislike the Colress for now. <laughs> Uh, we will get mulligans, which is nice. And we're up against Salomon's VMAX. Okay, I mean, <clears throat> we're getting to play, right? Which is always nice. <clears throat> we are actually getting to play against an all fire deck. It is what it is. Okay. Um, and we get to pass. <laughs> Please don't kill my sobble, 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 please don't kill my sobble. Please. Yes. Alright. Good job, sobble, you survived. Okay, nice. So I get to do this. I also get to battery. And then 
I wish I had a way to find a capture energy. Um, I'm gonna go Ergas, draw three. Not very good cards, however. Um, I mean, I so I can take a knockout, right? Which is nice, and I think I should honestly. I think I should just apply the pressure to the Croat. Or maybe I should just attack the active, actually. No, I want prizes, right? Yeah, I want to take prizes. Well, I do have N in hand, however. So maybe I don't want prizes. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to attack the Charizard. I'm okay not getting prizes. My girl will take a prize, and then I will um, play the N. I have Drizzle. At this point, I wish I had a Bridget, you know? <laughs> I wish I had access to Bridget. I might also choose not to. Um, not to evolve and just end here. Okay, Rescue Carrier, definitely want to play that. So I get you 2 back and I get a Groven down. And then... You know what? I really should. I go ahead and do this, and then I will level ball for another Sobble. Yep, I think that's the way to go. And then I will end. Give me, giving me six brand new cards. Oof. Um, not the best. Jeez. Do I save this level ball? I have Colrus again, but Colrus sucks so much. Yeah. Sure, let's just get another Sobble. I wish I was saving this Drizzle, though. I actually wish I was saving that Drizzle here. So I need to attack three more times to win. My opponent is playing an all-out fire deck. I think this shows how very few people are playing <laughs> Expanded, actually. Um, sure, I think Robin's more expendable. Um, oh, come on! <laughs> Playable cards! What? Are you serious? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now I'm also dead drawing. <laughs> now I'm actually dead drawing. This is insane. I should have taken the prize on the Crobat, I guess. Dude, how am I drawing so bad with four instances, four level balls, all the drizzles, other supporters, right? Via Seekers. Jeez. This really sucks. What are we playing against? <laughs> I want to lose to this fire deck. Oh, jeez. I am super dead. What does this energy do? Oh, okay. I am so dead. <laughs> Come on, where were all those Pokemon when I was playing Colrus? Where were they? Okay, well, it's top deck time. That's literally all I can do here. <laughs> um, wow, I lost to this. <laughs> all right, third coin flip one in a row. Will it be our third loss in a row though? <laughs> because so far things are not really working out for me. I know the deck is better than I'm currently drawing with, um, my luck is heavily, heavily influencing um, the match of currently got Look at this, right? I'm getting the least useful supporters. Um, I feel like I would definitely... Because this deck needs to flow better. I would definitely um, switch things up a little bit. After this game, I will be making those... Those suggestions, I guess. What? <laughs> what am I playing? <laughs> What is the expanded ladder right now? I don't know. It went from completely, um, completely degenerate decks, turn one donks, into flying Pikachu. 
I, I don't know what's going on. Um, okay, well, not the best start. And I priced two sobbles, so that's also not looking good for us. Oh my god, is my opponent just gonna fly and kill me? I have knockout on the flying Pikachu if it doesn't evolve. I, I'm okay with the evolves as long as it doesn't attack me. <laughs> this is crazy. This is actually crazy. <laughs> okay. Energy committed there means we're fine. Wait, this has free retreat? Oh no, it has free retreat because of their aura. Okay, so we're paralyzed, but that's okay. That's a dead flying Pikachu. All right. Rare candy. Capture energy for you. And I'm not threatened at all. Battery. That is a dead flying Pikachu. And yeah, because flying Pikachu is annoying, so... Okay, I have teammates. I think I'm just gonna research, honestly. Well, Juniper. Yeah, I'm just gonna Juniper. No need to burn or thin a Pokemon of the incense. Triple rescue carrier. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Goodbye Pikachu. And we hit for a weakness too. So why not got Pikachu instead of Zerara, even though Zerara is like a bigger threat? That's because of the annoying attacks, right? Thundershock is annoying, Fly is annoying as well. So might as well, right? I guess Fly is not annoying because then I can just snipe the bench. This is more, this is super annoying though. Fluffy Pillow is <laughs> super annoying. But hopefully that doesn't stop me from winning. I feel like under, I guess a regular deck, I'd absolutely be dead. And with no bench protection, you probably also fall to Picaron pretty badly, right? You probably also fall to Picaron pretty badly. I was gonna say, maybe my opponent is playing Team Leader Challenge in Expanded, but that's not possible because he's playing two different Mareeps. Crushing Claw. And discards my special energy, and I stay asleep. Fantastic. Fan-freaking-tastic. All right. So let's go ahead and just establish Double Grub in here. I'm okay not attacking one turn, because my opponent is literally doing nothing, so we're pretty safe here. We are actually pretty safe. I'm not gonna invest the charger block though. Which is Scoop of Met you. Bench you. Evolve you. I don't care about the energy discard really. And let's grab, yeah, let's grab another level ball. Why not? Let's just get everyone out here. Let's just get everyone out and playing. Okay, I finally wake up, which is a good sign for future things to come. <clears throat> Imagine starting a capture energy with a soul ball into a keep calling though, that's the dream for sure. You pull that off, you're probably in a very good spot to win a game. It's not easy to do, but... Okay, now my attack actually only costs Two colorless, one lightning, which doesn't matter because my energy is getting discarded here. Although, now with the compressor, I could actually get KO'd here by the Zero Aura. Which is fine. I definitely have enough to return KO. I have the Shady Dealings, I can find Rare Candy, I already have Incense into B Cobalt, I have Rescue, Scarrier, <laughs> Rescue Carriers for the Charge Log. Um, and the growing back, so we're pretty okay. You're not threatened in any way, shape, or form right here. Okay, they did have double Flaffy. They could end me, though. But they choose to Volkner instead. A KO with an end, that would have been scary. That actually would have been scary. Without the end, though, I'm pretty okay. Energy and Quick Ball. So I'm pretty sure unless something really weird happens that I'm not contemplating, like, like a, um, ooh, like a Picaron 
bench snipe out of nowhere, or a Vicold V stopping item cards. That actually would have potentially hurt me quite a bit. Oh, my opponent attached to the active. That's such a weird decision. They definitely didn't use both Dino Motors. They could have. They could have actually knocked me out of the Picaro. So I don't know what my opponent just did, but we'll take it. So let's do this. Let's grab rare candy and incense. And I actually don't need. Right, I don't need two charge up blocks for Vika Wolf. Yeah, thanks to their Thunder Mountain. So their stadium immediately helping me. I'll establish another Vika Wolf, make sure we have access to that. And I have literally the perfect hand to just win. So, yeah, my opponent decides to concede. I'm guessing they thought they were gonna knock out my Vika Wolf, even if they had. Um, I still have gonna return KO, then they would have KO'd me. And maybe setting up another V-Gold with double charge of could have been a little difficult if they end me. If not, I had the rescue carrier, so all I needed was um, rare candy V-Gold. So yeah, there you have it. Um, pretty cool deck, pretty cool deck. I feel like the early game is so shaky, right? That um, like even though it was turn two or three, I was still wanting more basic Pokemon. So I don't know, like Colrus, Ericas, and Teammates are all situational and are all not very good turn one supporters. So I feel like I would take... I understand why they're here, but I feel like I would take both of them out. And I would add another N. And potentially another Juniper, honestly. Like you do... well, no. Maybe that's too much. Definitely want another Brawl support. So maybe it's Cynthia, right? I criticize an opponent for having Cynthia, but actually having Cynthia doesn't seem too bad here. Um, or there's merit to having um, Bridget as well. I feel like Bridget could have been good. Or instead of Bridget, um, the Professor Professor Elm Stringing method, since it puts the cards into your hand. Um, you never know when you, like, I don't know. It helps you thin and you still get the same plus three, so maybe there's merit to that. Um, but anyways, that will be all for Beacon Vault. Um, the expanded ladder was enjoyable because players weren't playing super broken decks. And I feel like this deck, it's pretty cool. It's not super broken, right? So it was balanced decks versus balanced decks, and that always makes Pokemon more fun because you get to think more and you get to make more decisions throughout the game. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to leave a like. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.